Hello guys, I'm Carnes and today Cap Carnapa, and welcome to another edition of I Racing Career Red. So I wanna bring this up, so I'm gonna tell you a major update on my channel. So I told you in the YouTube descriptions in parts of my YouTube videos that I'm gonna take a form of hiatus from the iRacing platform, so not, I'm not gonna do it until December, like I promised you guys, so so for now, I'm just going to do a few tests, like I bought a uh, 1987 NASCAR Legends car, the Chevy Monte Carlo version of it, then I bought the CLT one, which is the 2009 version of it, and then now I got the 2019 NASCAR Chevy, which is basically the Gen 6, which I will upload later, but for now... I'm going to give you test sessions from Auto Club in a 1987 NASCAR version of the car. And then for Nashville, it's the CLT version, which is the 2009 car. So, so anyways, just uh, I'll give you a lap around Auto Club so you can see how bumpy the, the track is and you know, how much I try to get this car, car momentum so that way you can see how hard it is to handle this car. It's so heavy. Like I heard when I read the iRacing, I don't know, the one of the features in this car, it says that the car's weight is 3,700 pounds. But only 650 horsepower. So compared to that, to a modern version of the next-gen car, it's kind of lighter, but kind of has the same horsepower as the NASCAR Legends one. So yeah, if you if I were to put it side by side, which I might do in my future videos, then I would. But yeah. And the Legends car is drastically different because tire fall off is greater. Like I try to get the car to hustle, but man, instead of it being 40 to 42 seconds around Auto Club, it's only 45 to 47 second brackets. And yeah, it's a challenging car to drive for sure. So. I'm so glad I bought it. It was like $15. So. And as you'll see in the Nashville test of the COT, it has high horsepower, but in the weight, it's probably 3,400 that I'm used to in today's modern vehicle. But the braking is, you know, kind of unstable. Like when I try to enter the corner wide open, I just hit the wall very hard like that. And I had to adjust my driving style the way these cars are. So, so just as long as there's nobody, I just know that I can just crash as many times as I want and then try to learn from there. So, and then I did mention Charlotte Rovell with the Gen 6 car. I won't do it until maybe my nieces are not at the house. So, so I'll probably upload that later. But if I can probably fit in a time slot to do it, then yeah. So <laughs> I'm going to take my nieces and my whole family to Cheesecake Factory later. So. I won't be uploading YouTube videos. They, well, I'm recording this now, pre-recorded, but the Charlotte Roval test, yeah, it'll have to wait later in the afternoon or evening. So until it does that, and waiting for Hurricane Debbie to go go by us, which 
I'm surprised that where I live, I didn't get affected. Just only rain, no thunder, no nothing. Not even a tornado in sight, so. Man. I just pray to God that everything was fine and hope you all that live within North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, the southeastern portions of the country are okay. And we as an iRacing community and the NASCAR community, we come together just to upload these YouTube videos every day knowing that things will be fine. So, so I'll be signing off for now. So. I make Cap Corner 5. Hope you all have a great day and peace out. Okay, go.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95, you'll have a great day and peace out.